when people have nail fungus, uh, the nail starts to get thicker and uh, um, starts to be ref uh, filled by uh, white powder and eventually uh, may disint disintegrate, may uh, um, grow uh, farther from the skin underneath it. And um, dermatologists may frequently uh, prescribe uh, some topical treatments such as Lamisil cream which, uh, if it penetrates uh, our system and gets to the liver, may, uh, may even cause in extreme condition liver cirrhosis. And also, uh, people may have to take uh, um, medication which is taken orally and is very dangerous for the liver, so people get their um, liver functions monitored every uh, two or so weeks to see if it's not uh, too harmful for them. Now we found that um, various hyssop species growing on top of the Dead Sea, it says in the Bible, I shall be purified with hyssop because it's an extremely antibacterial plant. We found that they're very beneficial when we distill an essential oil from them. We cultivate them on the hills on top of the Dead Sea and distill. And the oil is so powerful that it can kill a very large range of uh, bacteria and fungi. Also, myrtle is very beneficial. Myrtle is also described in the Bible. And we found uh, in our research that myrtle contains substances which can uh, hamper communication inside fungal colonies. So uh, we have a topical treatment that we can use to disinfect nails and make them healthier. But also, it's a very good idea to treat the skin surrounding the nail because whenever you have uh, skin fungus, you have some fungus proliferating on your skin and recontaminating your uh, nail once uh, all over again in many cases. So the way we treat it, we have a balm. Uh, this balm, by the way, has been uh, registered by the uh, Canadian Ministry of Health as a treatment, as a very beneficial treatment for eczema. So we apply it around the nail, on the skin surrounding the nail. Um, you can also use it uh, all over your uh, foot skin when you walk on your feet during uh, the day. It will make your skin very, very smooth and nice. It will treat various uh, dryness on your heels. But around the nails, you apply it on the circumference of the nail. And right afterwards, we have this uh, concentrated hyssop species and myrtle, which you apply on top like you would apply nail varnish. And within one minute or so, it will all get absorbed by the nail. And uh, you can put socks on if it's in your foot. And you need to repeat it twice a day. Normally, it will take several months. If you've had it for two years, it may even take up to uh, two months. And if you've had it for 20 years, maybe even two years of treatment. And you need to keep filing it. If it's very, very thick, the penetration will be difficult, so it's a good idea to file it like once every two weeks. And then uh, sometimes you'll see the color change. Um, the white powder may start to become gray or brown or black. Actually, it's a very good sign. It's a sign that the uh, fungus is starting to, uh, to die. And also, if you're afraid that you'll just forget to do it, you can place it next to your toothbrush. So whenever you, you brush your teeth, you remember to, to, uh, to apply this varnish on your nail. So normally just uh, several months and you just need to keep uh, filing thoroughly.